grandfather of Stephen Joyce, uh, who is one of the great arguments for copyright reform. Um, this is the guy who tried to stop people from reading uh, Joyce on the 100th anniversary of Bloomsday. This is the guy who tried to tell the Irish Library that his grandfather's papers shouldn't be displayed in the Irish Library, for, uh, forcing a kind of parliamentary crisis and a new law that was uh, passed hastily to make it unambiguously lawful to do it. Um, professional descendants are really one of the reasons we need to fix copyright. It has uh, two interesting, distinctive meanings, um, and they get mixed up a lot. So the first is this technical copyright meaning. It means something that is out of copyright and can be freely used. Then this other one is widely disclosed. So the fact that so-and-so was having an affair was in the public domain. Um, um, they're really totally disjoint meanings, and I find myself getting uh, caught up a lot of the time in, uh, you know, I'll be listening to the radio, and they'll and I'll hear them misuse the term public domain, and I'll get really freaked out until I re remember that it has this other meaning. Uh, I think. Um, the future is vastly overrated. I think that uh, we, we have this ridiculous conceit that science fiction writers are predicting the future. Predicting the future is um, totally ridiculous because it implies that we are headed towards a fixed future like a train on rails. Um, what an awful fatalistic thing to believe. Uh, science fiction is really interesting because its futures are not predictions but rather directions. They're um, warnings and inspirations for a better future and science fiction implies that the future is unpredictable because if you can influence the future then it must not be fixed.